Hello, Mountainside community. My name is Todd Corsetti, and I am the proud principal of Mountainside High School. Welcome to the first ever Senior Awards here at Mountainside. This class was already going to go down as a historic class, and these strange times only strengthen that legacy. The class of 2020 has created and defined what it is to be a Mountainside Maverick. We all had ex high expectations for you when you arrived as sophomores. And to say that you surpassed those expectations is an understatement. The class of 2020 has set the bar for all future classes. You have learned to deal with a cruel adversity this year that will only strengthen you as you move into adulthood. We are so proud of all of our Maverick seniors. You have been the senior class of Mountainside for the past three years. And finally, now in the spring of 2020, we honor all that you have accomplished. I wanna thank Vice Principal Rebecca Baer for producing the program. I wanna thank Emily O'Quinn for her work communicating the scholarship opportunities and to Jason Inglis for filming and editing this presentation. We have many awards, scholarships, and academic recognitions to present. So let's get started. We first begin with our community, district, and school-sponsored scholarships. The Susie Laughlin Memorial Scholarship was established from the estate of Claude Laughlin. Mr. Laughlin was a former school board member who served the district in 1960. Each of these recipients will receive $500 for their future studies. Please help us congratulate our winners. Each year, the superintendent of the Beaverton School District offers a scholarship to students who have demonstrated perseverance and determination throughout their high school experience, while also achieving a high level of academic success. This year, one of the four district recipients of this $1,000 scholarship is a Maverick. Congratulations, all of your hard work has paid off. Each year, the Association of Beaverton School Administrators chooses a select few students to win a scholarship based on academics, school involvement, and a scholarship application. Reviewed by a panel of district administrators, one of the winners for this year is a Mountainside graduate. This winner received her award with a special home visit by several district administrators. Congratulations and good luck at the University of Portland. Hello, my name is Rebecca Baer. I'm one of the assistant principals here at Mountainside High School. The Prudential Spirit of Community Awards Program was created in 1995 by Prudential and the Nas National Association of Secondary School Principals. The program honors middle level and high school students for outstanding service to others at the local, state, and national level. The following student not only received this award this spring, but she was also recognized as a school honoree in the program earlier this year. Additionally, the student was awarded the President's Volunteer Service Award based on the number of volunteer hours she completed. Congratulations on your com contributions to our community and this outstanding recognition. Our own Individuals and Societies teacher, Todd Brown, and his family would like to introduce the winner of our next award the Marilyn S. Brown Memorial Scholarship. After the passing of our mom, we decided to create a scholarship in her memory, keeping in mind the things she valued most, the strength of family and the importance of education and athletics. Congratulations to this year's winners, Arthur Kreider and Mitch Rose. Congratulations. Congratulations. Hello, I'm Counselor Brooke Davidson. 
Each year, outstanding students from our Health Careers Pathway are awarded a scholarship based on their demonstration of clinical skills proficiency, as well as positive and professional relationships with others in the classroom and out in the healthcare community. For these characteristics, the Beaverton Health Careers Program would like to award the following students with awards of $1,000 and $500 respectively. The following student is being honored for having earned at least nine college credits through work in dual credit classes at Mountainside High School. Congratulations on this accomplishment. PCC Future Connect is a scholarship and support program for students who might otherwise face barriers to attending college. Through scholarships, career guidance, and personalized advising, Future Connect helps students build pathways to their future. Of the approximately 1,100 students who apply each year, only one-third are accepted. Congratulations to the following recipients. My name is Emily O'Quinn, and in my role as the College and Career Counselor, I am excited to introduce our MAV scholars. These students have exhibited the highest caliber of scholarship and have demonstrated a strong commitment to the mountainside values of connect, explore, and pursue. In order to earn this award, a student must satisfy a variety of rigorous requirements. MAV scholars are well-rounded students who distinguish themselves by the successful completion or achievement of a 3.5 unweighted cumulative GPA, 80 hours of community service, two credits earned in co-curricular courses or participation in two school-based clubs or sports, eight credits of advanced courses, three credits of language acquisition courses, and maintaining a full class schedule all four years. This year, we have 67 students who completed all of the MAV Scholar requirements. I would appreciate it if you would help me congratulate these highly accomplished students.
Additionally, this list of MAV scholars boasts 55 salutatorians who are named on the following slides. Salutatorians received an unweighted or weighted GPA of 4.0 in addition to meeting all of the requirements of being a MAV scholar. Congratulations to this very accomplished group of students. Four of these MAV scholars and IB diploma students earned the distinction of being named the first Maverick valedictorians. Please recognize Sydney Andrus, Emily Beecher, Katie Lee, and Mallory Mao. My name is Brooke Mayo and I am the IBE Diploma Program Coordinator. Mountainside is proud to have been accredited last year as an IB World School, authorized to offer the IB Diploma Program. Internationally recognized, the full IB Diploma is considered by many to be the highest academic accomplishment that can be awarded to high school students anywhere in the world. This year, we are recognizing students who completed the courses and requirements to be eligible for the IB Diploma. Unlike other years, our diploma candidates will be awarded their diplomas based not on tests, but on the continued work that they completed in their courses over the past two years. At graduation, these highly accomplished students will be wearing the signature graduation stoles. Please help me in congratulating these IB scholars. I'm Gina Martinick, French teacher here at Mountainside High School. There is no doubt that the nations of our world are interconnected and that the students most capable of operating in a global society will be proficient in more than one language. The Oregon State Seal of Biliteracy is an award given in recognition of students who have studied and attained proficiency in two or more languages by high school graduation. These students have proven their biliteracy by attaining exceptional scores on the stamp test taken this year at Mountainside. Please help me congratulate the following students on this achievement. My name is Megan Schmidt, and I am one of your counselors and the AVID coordinator here at Mountainside. 
We are one of approximately 7,500 schools that offer AVID as one of our selective programs. Advancement via individual determination, AVID, is an academic program intended to promote equity by providing mentorship and support to students while creating a safe and open classroom culture that fosters college readiness through a collaborative student-centered approach. Please join me in congratulating the AVID class of 2020. I'm Assistant Principal Rod Baraclow. Mountainside students who complete Advanced Career Pathways endorsements are viewed by colleges and universities as students that demonstrate rigor and commitment to their high school education. Students who earn an Advanced Career Pathway have to complete the prescribed coursework, propose and complete a senior project, and make a presentation about their project to a panel of students and teachers. This year, we have 124 students who have completed all the advanced career pathway requirements. Some of these students have completed multiple pathways. Their names are as follows.
Hello, I'm Brian Sorensen, Mountainside Athletic Director, and I'm here to present the Mountainside Athletic Awards. We would like to thank all of the Mountainside coaches for their dedication to our Maverick athletes who have excelled under their guidance. We have several athletic awards to present. The Jerry Flug Award. Jerry Flug was a longtime Beaverton School District employee who retired several years ago. Mr. Flug served the district for many years as the district athletic director. Every year, each, school, each high school in the district honors one senior male and one senior female multi-sport athlete with this award honoring athletic leadership, commitment, and achievement. This year's Mountainside recipients of the Jerry Flug Award go to the following multi-sport athletes. For more than 65 years, the Oregon Sports Awards have honored outstanding achievements by our state's prep, amateur, and professional athletes, as well as teams, coaches, and administrators. Sport Oregon and NBC Sports Northwest have partnered to celebrate local athletes and coaches through the 2020 Oregon Sports Awards. Finalists were nominated and selected through a statewide voting panel consisting of local TV and radio hosts and sports journalists, and respected sports professionals. Congratulations to the following athletes. We would like to now recognize the outstanding senior athletes as voted on by our head coaches. The outstanding senior athlete is someone who exemplifies good sportsmanship on and off the playing fields, earned multiple varsity letters, is in good academic standing, and has a strong work ethic and leadership skills. Congratulations to our outstanding senior athlete. The Maverick Scholar Athlete Award is given to an athlete with the highest weighted GPA of all lettering athletes. This year's female Mav Scholar has a weighted GPA of 4.426, and our Mav Scholar athlete has a weighted GPA of 4.347. Please help me in congratulating our, the following Mav Scholar athletes. Mountainside High School boasts a number of clubs and activities that deserve recognition today for their contribution to the wider community. First, the National Honor Society members exemplify scholarship, leadership, character, and service. Members have worked on service projects this year that are too numerous to list completely. Their work has served the elderly, the hungry, the environment, children at other schools, children in hospitals, the Mountainside community, and more. NHS members will be awarded a cord for their graduation ceremony. Congratulations to all of our graduate members and thank you for your service.
my name is Jen Hicks, health and AVID teacher and advisor for Key Club. Key Club is an international student-led organization that provides its members with opportunities to provide service, build character, and develop leadership. Key Club provides high school students with an invaluable experience in living and working together and to prepare them for useful citizenship. Our members develop initiative and leadership skills by serving their schools and communities. Members of Key Club earn an honor cord by attending 75% of meetings, having a minimum of 25 hours of service per year, being a project leader, and being an event leader twice. Thank you, Key Club members, for your service. I am the sponsor for the nationally recognized chapter of French Honor Society, or Société Honoraire de France. Students who are inducted into SHF are passionate about the French language and Francophone cultures. They have an A- minus or higher in French classes and a B- minus or higher average in their other classes. Please recognize the following students. My name is Jessica Dowell. I'm a math teacher and faculty advisor for the Mu Alpha Theta National Mathematics Honor Society. Mu Alpha Theta is dedicated to inspiring keen interest in mathematics and developing strong scholarship in the subject. Members meet weekly to engage in further study of mathematics, to participate in national competitions, and to promote mathematics in our school community. Receiving cords this year are Hello, my name is Eric Reinholdt, and I'm the Activities Director and Leadership Teacher here at Mountainside High School. Today, I would like to acknowledge and thank our senior ASB officers who will be receiving a medal for their work on the Student Council Executive Board. They have helped to plan and execute the vast amount of projects, events, activities, and service drives here at Mountainside. Through their constant service, they, with the help of their leadership to committees and student council members, helped us all build MHS culture and traditions from scratch over these past three years. In addition, senior members of Leadership 2 who completed their advanced career pathway will receive a cord. Thanks again to all of our seniors in our leadership program for all of your hard work and helping to create amazing memories over these past three years. And go Maps! We would now like to recognize the unmatched service that the class of 2020 has given to Mountainside and the Mountainside community. In order to graduate from Mountainside High School, our seniors must accumulate 30 hours of community service. The students we are about to honor have gone above and beyond the call of duty. These students have accumulated over 200 combined hours of community service. We honor their outstanding work today.
I want to thank you for joining us for our first ever senior awards presentation. We hope this is the first and last time we do these awards virtually. Yet another event made more memorable by the first graduating class of Mountainside. In the last lecture by Randy Pausch, he outlines a couple life lessons that will serve you well in your life's next step. Number one, the brick walls are there for a reason. The brick walls are not there to keep us out. The walls are there to give us a chance to show how badly we want something. Because the brick walls are there to stop the people who don't want it badly enough. And number two, it's not about how to achieve your dreams, it's about how to lead your life. If you lead your life the right way, the karma will take care of itself. The dreams will come to you. And most importantly, time is all you have and you may find that one day you have less than you think. To the first graduating class in Mountainside history, you have created a culture for future classes to aspire to for years to come. Thank you. Thank you for taking the weight of responsibility on your sophomore shoulders and for leading our school for these three years. We can never thank you enough for what you have created. Your senior year did not end the way anyone would have wanted, but that will never eclipse the accomplishments of this class. You have created the Maverick Way and will forever be the first class of Mountainside High School, the class to which all other classes will be compared. Good luck.